as my absolutely favorite lift and also my best lift. In January this year I placed second at the Bench Press British Championships and then in spring this year I competed at the World Championships. Nevertheless, sometimes when I upload my Bench Press videos on the internet I get lots of negative comments. These negative comments come mostly from people who don't know too much about lifting, especially not about powerlifting. Before deciding which bench press technique to use, you should ask yourself, what is your goal? Do you want to be the person who can push lots of weight, as much weight as you possibly can, or do you want to be the person with the biggest chest in the gym? That's how you decide what to use and what your priority is. I will explain it on the example between a power lifter and a bodybuilder. A power lifter wants to push as much weight as he or she humanly can. You can push more weight if the distance you need to move the weight is shorter. In order to decrease the range of motion and let the bar travel over a shorter distance, power lifters arch. And before you say, you are going to injure yourself, you are going to injure your back, no you aren't going to injure your back if you know how to do it. Of course, uncontrolled arching, when some people start lifting too heavy and don't keep enough tension in their upper body or in general in their body, yes, this can cause injury. But if you know exactly how to arch, then you will be fine. Another thing powerlifters use to decrease the range of motion is pinching shoulder blades together. Now imagine that I bench. First of all, I arch, then I have my arms here. I put my arms wider on the bar, again, in order to decrease the range of motion, and I pinch my shoulder blades together. Do you see? My arms get shorter. And then I can actually move the bar over a shorter distance. However, if you want to build a big chest, if you want to train more in the bodybuilding style, then it makes sense to target your chest muscle as much as possible. Here you should increase your range of motion. A power lifter tries to decrease the range of motion to move the weight over a shorter distance, but a bodybuilder should increase the range of motion. Basically, bodybuilders do the opposite than power lifters. For me as a power lifter, also, building muscle is a very important thing. For this reason, I train both. Of course, I do lots of competition bench press, where I practice my arch, where I practice my technique, lift heavy and decrease the range of motion. But in order to build more muscle in my chest, I also need to do some parts of my training in the bodybuilding style. That's when I use dumbbell bench press. And even for dumbbell bench press, I try to choose the variation with which I can increase the range of motion. We have probably seen that many people do dumbbell bench press like this. I hold the dumbbells like this, which increases the range of motion, because now I can put my arms further down compared to this. Also the narrow grip dumbbell bench, because if you compare dumbbell bench like this or like this, this one is a narrow grip, it targets more my triceps and my triceps is my weak point. Also research shows that with closer grip you get more activation in your chest. So if you compare really wide grip push-ups and close grip push-ups, you get more activation in your chest and your triceps doing the close grip version. Now I will show you some parts of my training so that you can see what exercises I use and what for. Also, you will see how I set up my arch so that I get a really nice arch which shortens the range of motion and allows me to bench lots of weight. This is my powerlifting bench setup when I try to push as much weight as I can. First, I put my index fingers on the rings on the bar and then slide back in order to put my feet as close to the head of the bench as possible. Then I arch, I do it several times until I feel enough tension in my upper back where the error is now and then when it feels right I unrack the bar. 
I pinch my shoulder blades together, put my feet on the ground, then my butt on the bench. When I bench, I try to push with my feet towards my head and lift up my chest as high as possible. Now the same setup from a different angle. I put my index fingers on the rings, slide back, place my feet close to my head. It takes a while until I find the right position. I arch until I feel enough tension in my upper back. Then I unrack the bar by turning my wrists so they are vertical to the ground. That's the position I am the strongest with. I unrack the weight with my front delts, but then I take my shoulders out of the movements by pinching the shoulder blades together. When I lower the bar, I try to put it on the highest point on my chest. From this angle, you can see better how I can unrack the bar without help. Look at my shoulders. First, I engage my front delts by bringing them forward. Then I unrack the bar and then I pinch my shoulder blades together to take the shoulders out of the movement. You may have noticed that I don't use clips when I bench. The reason for it is that if I miss a lift or miss the rack when I re-rack the bar, I can just turn the bar and let the plate slide down so that I don't get trapped. Now I will show you the bench type I do for optimal muscle development. I do the close grip bench with dumbbells and try to keep my arms as close to my body as possible and use the full range of motion. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up. And leave me comments below. Do you have any questions? How do you bench? Do you want to be the person who can push as much weight as possible? Or is building out a really nice chest your priority? I would love to discuss it with you. Okay, thanks a lot for watching and see you tomorrow. Bye!